You know, privacy is a myth when it comes to smartphones, but there are a few things that you can do to be as private as possible. First, Google keeps a track of every place you go, even if you're not using Google Maps. And the funny thing is that you're actually enrolled into it automatically, but you can get out of it. So open Google Maps and then tap on your profile picture, then go into your timeline and then tap on these three dots on the top right and go into settings and privacy. Now scroll down and then you'll see something called as location history is on, tap on it and then if you scroll down, you'll see the option to turn it off. And that's it, over here, you can pause this. Or you can opt to automatically erase this data on you every three months, 18 months or 36 months. 36 months, also known as three years. Now, second, you know how the same ads start appearing across all apps just because you search for something in one app. That's not a coincidence. In fact, you opted for it. So if you go into your settings and then into privacy settings here, Android personalization service, this is on and that's exactly what it does. Honestly, I don't care if one app wants to tell the other app what I'm looking for. They're more than welcome, but I can imagine why it may bother some of you and you can turn it off. And then there's ads personalization. That is, I get ads recommended based on my browsing history. And guess what? You're also enrolled into this by default. Now, in this case, I don't want the ads personalization, not only because they've got that data on me, but also because it just, I just end up buying crap because I get tempted and I don't want that. The next thing you wanna do is turn off usage and diagnostic data. Let's just say that everything you do, your web and app activity, your device and app usage data, system activity, battery levels, and any errors, all are sent to Google for analysis and to be able to improve their service to you. Now, this is a tough question. Do you want to contribute to the very service that you're using by sharing your own usage data? The bad part is that you're most likely already enrolled into it. And the good part is that you have a choice at the very least. Leave it on if you want to contribute and turn it off if it's really bothering you. Next, the only rule that matters when it comes to installation of apps is that you should only download and install apps from the Play Store. But it's possible that other apps have the required permission to install apps from unknown sources. So just go into your settings, look for, you know, ways that you can install apps from unknown sources and turn off for all the other apps, one by one, if at all they're turned on. Now, one thing that you can do once every three months, and especially now, is go and see what apps have what permissions. If you go into privacy settings, then permission manager, you'll see which apps are using which permission and are they using it at all times or only when required. For example, for calendar here, you can see that all of these apps are allowed access to calendar data at all times. Then if I go into, let's say, microphone, and you'll see that none of the apps are allowed to access microphone at all times, which is a good thing. Similarly, you could go for location, and then you'll see a couple of apps that have access to location at all times. Now, Pixby Voice is probably something I don't need that it should have access to location settings at all times, and I could just long press it and take that access away. And setting these permissions right will also save your battery because these apps are not using permissions that don't need to be used at all times. Next, you should also learn how to restrict background usage. You may have a lot of apps on your phone and some of them may be running in the background, sending data and using a battery. So, you know, time to time, again, once every three months, you should do this check. And if you look at never sleeping apps, these are the ones that are constantly eating up your battery. And so what you can do is just long press them and remove them from that list. Now, these were some more major things that you can do, but there are some smaller things that you can do to be more cautious. For example, if you're on a public Wi-Fi network, like at a cafe or at an airport or similar such places, you might want to mask your phone's IP address using a VPN. It sort of makes you untraceable, keeps you hidden, and you know, people can't track you. So it kind of saves you from quite a few unknown attacks. And hey, if you want to stop ads without installing any third party ad blocker, you could just go into your connection settings, then into more connections, and then into private DNS. And then you can set your private DNS to dns.adguard.com, and that should work. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, those are a few things you can do to safeguard your personal data to some extent. I mean, 
There are endless more things that you can do, some really complicated stuff, but I'm not gonna get into that. Just wanted to share some easy ones, uh, you know, to just safeguard yourself as much as possible. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If this was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon, and mark all. It'll help the channel grow quite a bit. I'll see you guys in the next one.